Hey guys, it's June 1st and here is my monthly report. Last week, CMHC made headlines with the bold prediction that housing prices could plunge as much as 18% in this COVID crisis. And this in turn has sent some panic into the market. Could now be the right time to sell before a big real estate collapse? Well, not exactly. Because to me, this doesn't reflect the resiliency of our market's current rising activity. And I was excited to see that the Vice President of Atlantic Ontario, Canada of Remax, Christopher Alexander, seems to agree. And in the Financial Post this week, he had this much to say. CMHC doesn't seem to understand the sheer number of sellers that would have to accept this type of price reduction in order for the average housing prices to plummet to such a degree in such a short period of time. Sellers simply won't accept this kind of discount on their listings. And this is a statement of this nature is panic inducing and irresponsible. Whew. That's spicy. Well, it was, it was in contrary to Evan Sedell of CMHC last week that went before a parliamentary committee and forecasted a 9 to 18 percent decrease in the coming months with this quote. The resulting combination of higher mortgage debt, declining house prices, increased unemployment is a cause of concern for Canada's long-term financial stability. And this, of course, is him looking at April and March's statistics. Well, Alexander shot back in the Financial Post article and said that they're missing the key economic driver in all of this. And that is that real estate continues to have an inventory issue. We have a less than two month supply and demand of our real estate here in Canada. And this type of prediction on CMHC is really quite reckless when we're going through such a short curve in this moment. In fact, it's interesting to note that the supply and demand equation has been fairly equal in the last two months, with 56% less sales over this span, but also 57% less new listings. And this had the Korea chief economist, Sean Cartwright, say, that things have already started to improve since March and the numbers have indicated to be even stronger into April and then May. And he went on to further say that it was a little bit irresponsible for the bold predictions of CMHC and improved by their own price index that showed that there's only been a small price drop of 0.5% from March till May and that we are still up six and a half percent in this year's real estate market. It's also worth noting again with the Financial Post that I saw the president of the Bank of Nova Scotia state that he's with confidence uh, saying that we, it looks like we're avoiding a deferral cliff, which is pretty good news. So that brings me closer to home. And how is the market doing here in Niagara? Well, it also is fairly unclear. But on one hand, that could be a good thing. We've received, this time over last year, 50% less sales in the month of May than we did last year. But that sure beats the 68% less sales we had in April in compare to last year. So things here have improved when it comes to the amount of unit sales. But then the interesting thing is, is when you look back on May 2019 and compare to May 2020, prices have continued to go up 7.9%. And this, this is pretty surprising because uh, going back to my earlier point is that the market conditions still virtually haven't changed from the supply and demand. While buyers have gradually stepped back, so have sellers. And those who have been brave enough to step forward uh, have continued to be get rewarded. Sellers have seen their prices increase this time over last year, and buyers that have been willing to go into the market are feeling that now is a great time to get something 
before that buildup of competition that we saw in January and February uh, comes back into the market. And now is a good time for them to get good value on a home before things increase further. So, uh, for those that are still watching this video, uh, my philosophies, my, my drumbeat this, this spring has been that comp C's don't make strong sailors. And I would encourage all of you to, you know, to, to take that upon yourselves whether you're buying or selling or just every day with your family, as these are strange and, and, and weird times, but we're all going to get through this together, and with the right amount of luck, we're gonna come out better strong for it. Peace out.